everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here for the first time welcome my name is Angela and I find my paradise through reading and I'm doing a quick little book haul um, because I went to Barnes and Nobles um, it's just been like such a wonderful weekend um I went to like a minor league a baseball game I went and I saw a children's football game I went out to lunch um, to was it Plaza Azteca and had some amazing food and next to the Plaza Azteca was Barnes and Noble and there were a couple books on my list that I wanted to get so I was in there just like for the longest time <laughs> because I went in there for two things and I came out with a handful um but I'm not mad about it <laughs> I'm just not um but it was oh I just had just the wonder the most wonderful time there um but I am very pleased because I have their um their premium I guess membership at Barnes and Noble so I got a new bag I get a new one every year so this one is like orange and it's a different style than I got um, the last time it's just oh I love this orange color a bag of books is very very sturdy it has a Barnes & Noble on the side so I just love this one I like my other one too but I just love it it's got an inside pocket and stuff um, very well made bags it's got one two it's got two pockets inside um, and I think these costs you can buy them they're like $18 I think if you want to buy the bag but if you have a premium membership you get a free bag every year so that's awesome and so I have my books in here and so let me share oh, okay so I got some children's picture books. I love children's picture books. And I do have young ones that come to my house for the weekends and such. And I love new books. Um, so I haven't gotten new picture books in a while. Um, so I was browsing through the children's section and it just, it's just so sweet. I love the innocence of children's books and the simple picture book just beautiful illustrations and the colors and i love them i still enjoy children's books um so this is one that i found it's called the night is for darkness so i noticed this and i was like this looks like it would be a really cute bedtime story so let me just show you um and this is a signed copy and it was cool because in here it says happy reading <laughs> and it has the author's signature the author it's written by jonathan stutzman and the illustrations are by joseph cool cool kufler i'm butchering that i'm sure i'm sorry but beautiful and then the dust jacket you take that off it's just the book the same uh, cover but it is look at these pictures this says the night is for darkness and bright golden beams for discovering eyes are not what they seem this is gorgeous I love this just these big beautiful pages um so that is that the night is for darkness I read through it while I was in Barnes and Noble and I was like oh my gosh that is so cute I love it so let me put that here another picture book that I got is maybe a story about the endless potential in all of us written by Kobe Yamada illustrated by Gabriella Baruch. So look at this. How gorgeous. I loved this one too. Um, let me just show you. 
a couple pages like I did so that you have an idea of what it looks like inside and the illustrations. Have you ever wondered why you are here? Look at that. You are the only you there ever has been or ever will be. You have so much to offer. So I didn't read this whole one, but I mean, look at the illustrations. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm, I'll admit that, <laughs> um, oh goodness, gorgeous. I feel like children's picture books, um, really nice ones like this, they, they can be pretty pricey. These were, gosh, they were, okay, this was $19, okay, 19 And let me see if the price is on this one. All right, $18. So this was about 40 bucks for just these two books. Um, I think it's very well worth it um, just because... You're probably, if you have young ones or you have young ones that come to your house frequently and they love storybooks, you're going to read this probably a hundred times. Um, and just always keep it on your shelf because there's always going to be new additions to the family. There's going to be new nieces, new nephews, grandchildren. So these never get old. Um, I think it's well worth it. And plus like the size and the illustrations and the quality of these books. It's just glorious and immense. Let's see what's under this dust jacket. This is different. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's kind of textured. Let me see. There you can hear it. Um, so it's textured. It's gorgeous. Um, yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. So yes, some of these picture books are um can be pretty pricey you can definitely still find children's books and picture books in thrift stores and such but um something like this i find rare <laughs> you, you rarely find something like this gorgeous in um the thrift stores so it's definitely in addition to my collection and i do have a collection of children's books and i love them dr seuss come on like love him <laughs> i almost know some of it by heart okay so those are the two picture books that i got for little ones okay then i got oh goodness this is gorgeous too um the lost spells um by robert mcfarlane jackie morris and i was in the poetry section and I saw this and I was kind of flipping through it and oh, how beautiful this book is. Look at this. So many gorgeous illustrations um, and like short poems. Uh, the, pretty much this is probably all poems surrounding nature. Um, this says over rushes across marshes, owl hushes. Will you listen with owl ears for a while? Let the wild world's whispers call you in. And these are just all just very gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So look at the end papers. And let me see what's, if there's anything interesting under this dust jacket. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous book. I'm telling you. Can you see this? It's like there. It's textured butterfly and look at the gold. We're, oh my goodness. And this is cloth. So this is like cloth. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful, beautiful book. So this is the Lost Spells. What does the back say? This is a book of spells to be spoken aloud. Here you will find conjurings and charms, spells that protect and spells that protest, tongue twisters, blessings, lullabies, and psalms. Beautiful. I am really excited. I've been 
feeling with I've been spending so much more time outside and in the garden and I've just been feeling so much more connected to nature and just feeling more like myself and that's why I went to the poetry section because I was looking for poetry surrounding nature so I found this one but definitely you can't go wrong with Mary Oliver's poems. So I got her uh, collection of poems called Devotions. All right. And she is just, oh, okay. Let's see. Um, this is a long one. I wonder if I could find like a short one that I could share with you. And she's just, I've read like a few of hers. Um, but I have want, wanted for a long time to definitely read a lot more of her works and get like a collection of her poems. And these are just, oh my goodness, Honey Locust, Oxygen, White Heron Rises Over Black, black Water, um, um, these are all nature pretty much. When I am among the trees. Let's let's read that one real quick to see what that's like. When I am among the trees. Okay. When I am among the trees, especially the willows and the honey locust, it's equally the beech, the oaks, and the pines. They give off such hints of gladness. I would almost say that they save me and daily. I am so distant from the hope of myself in which I have goodness and discernment and never hurry through the world, but walk slowly and bow often. Around me, the trees stir in their leaves and call out, stay a while. The light flows from their branches and they call again. It's simple, they say, and you too have come into the world to do this, to go easy, to be filled with light and to shine. Gorgeous. So this is Mary Oliver's Devotions, her collection of poems, and I am just so excited. I am going to be probably reading like one or two poems a day. I just, oh, I'm excited about it. Okay. What else do I got here? Okay. I got Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. And, I, oh, I'm not gonna lie, today, just today, I finished listening to the audiobook. <laughs> I read uh, or I listened to In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune and it just blew me out of the water. And I was like, what's next? I wanna, I wanna a little bit more of TJ Klune and see what else he has to offer. And so I got this book, Under the Whispering Door. It was available on Libby. I listened to it um, and it was good. Not as good as In the Lives of Puppets. In the Lives of Puppets is like up here. Like I'm still thinking about that book and I, I honestly think I'm gonna listen to it again this year, like very soon because it was phenomenal. This book also, this has humor. Um, so it really starts off pretty funny. <laughs> which was awesome um but this is very serious um there is definitely a lot of humor in here but a lot of seriousness because this deals a lot with death um so trigger warning a lot a lot about death the afterlife where do we go from here what's the purpose of life um it touches on suicide um, and so some people may not be able to, to read this well. Um, so I'm not going to go into, um, the details of this book. Um, but I'll go into it in my end, end of the month wrap up. But basically this is about a guy who passes away and he is in the midst of this journey. Like he... There's like a guide that takes his spirit and takes him to this tea shop. And there is kind of a ferryman, 
okay? So the, the person that grabbed him after he died was the Reaper, and she took him to this ferryman who has this tea shop, and this ferryman helps him come to terms with his death and helps him, you know, just go through his acceptance, his phases of grief, you know, and that's like the bargaining, the denial, uh, all of those phases of grief, and then helps him to go on to his next step is to like cross into the afterlife or the next phase in his journey, the next step, he has to go through a door. Um, but just kind of preparing him and making sure he's ready to open the door and walk through. Um, so there's a lot of like very serious conversations and um, I don't know, It's it, it was good. It was, I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I definitely wanted a hard copy of this book. It's gorgeous. It looks very similar in style to In the Lives of Puppets. The next one I'm gonna read is The House in the Cerulean Sea. It's the same author, but look, you can see the books. And the last of puppets. So these books are gonna look gorgeous together on my shelf. So there's that one. What else we got? We got two more. Now <laughs> we got the way of the house husband, volume eleven. Volume eleven was not available in English. Um, the last time I was, the last time I checked. Um, so I was really surprised that I saw volume eleven had been released in English. So boom i am going to read the 11th volume of the way of the house husband this funny funny manga uh, that i've been following for some time and i've been missing tatsu um after i finished like volume 10 i was like wow that's it for who knows how long and here's 11. from what i understand it goes up to volume 12 and 12 is not available in english yet but i don't know maybe they'll just continue continue on um beyond volume 12 who knows so there's that and then my last book is another manga this is the omnibus version of one piece volumes one two and three. Oh my goodness okay so i um i don't know i'm excited about this i'm um excited yet nervous because i know one piece is a massive manga like and then everyone keeps saying oh as soon as you read this you're gonna get so addicted to it and you're just gonna keep, keep one into you're gonna want to keep going and going and going and you're just gonna go one piece crazy i don't know i don't know um i've seen a couple uh episodes i guess of the anime um i did absolutely love the live ad adaptation of one piece i was on netflix and they did like the first uh the you know they only did se one season of it and it just blew me out of the water had such a freaking amazing time with it and like binge watched it the following week like all episodes all over again because it was so fun and it was so cool um, so yeah, I figured, let me see, let me see if I will enjoy this manga as much as I enjoyed the first season of the, uh, live adaptation of One Piece. And I would like to watch the anime, but again, it, it's so daunting because there's like, a hundred million episodes and seasons. I don't know. It just seems to, to be so much. Right now, I'm watching Naruto. I am loving it. I am in season five of Naruto. Um, and I'm enjoying that. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Ah, there's Luffy. But hopefully I'll get to this soon. Maybe June, July. We'll see. I think that was it. That was it. Oh my gosh. I almost knocked over my Tiffany lamp. That is it. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me and for watching and seeing my latest little book haul. And I'm not going to lie. 
This was an expensive trip to Barnes and Noble. I try to stay out of there. Honestly, I do. I do. I try to stay out of there um, because I know how expensive it can get. Um, and I like to usually order from Amazon, used books when I can, thrift books. And in eight days, in eight days is the local county library's annual book sale, which I already have a vacation day planned for it. It's happening. I have a wagon. I'm all in. Like, serious stuff is about to go down. All right. So I've been, like, trying to hold back on, like, buying books because I know I'm going to, like, probably get a smack ton at this library sale. Um, but I don't know. I think it was just, like, a beautiful weekend. I was having so much fun just being out and about and doing things. And... I was like, oh, and I have this Barnes and Noble membership. Like, obviously I have to use it to make it worth the money, right? Duh. <laughs> and I did have some free like Barnes and Noble bucks that I had accumulated. So I applied them to, to these books and I got my free tote. I mean, so it was a good day. I don't care. I think it was just a very special, special treat. And it was just the experience, I think, because I was just like wandering around and looking at loads and loads and loads of books. And I was so relaxed and I was on my Vespa, you know, so I was like all over town on my Vespa, just going everywhere. And it was just a blast. It was such a blast. And I didn't feel rushed, you know, um, so I had nothing else to do that day. So I really took my time in Barnes and Noble and it was fun. It was just an amazing, amazing time. And I'm so happy. No regrets. There just never, no, never regrets. Um, but yeah, so Way of the House Husband, Mary Oliver Poems, Under the Whispering Door. Oops, One Piece. Mary Oliver, I'm so sorry. And then The Lost Spells, beautiful. This one was kind of pricey, I think. I wanna say it was like 28 bucks or something like that, $26. But again, beautiful quality. Like I said, it's like cloth, it's like embossed designs, the gold foil, the illustrations. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. I think definitely worth the money um, because you know a lot of time, a lot of effort and care was made into designing this. So I am totally fine with spending that kind of money, especially in the same goes for the children's books. They can be so beautiful and so colorful and well illustrated. I mean, I'm totally supporting these authors and illustrators. Um, it's just such a treasure and so pleasant. So again, thank you so much for joining me and leave your comments, like, subscribe, and keep in touch. We'll talk to you soon. Happy reading. Bye.